I'm Steve Katz. I have the pleasure of being the world's first CISO, which originated at Citicorp in 1994-95. I was running information security at Morgan Guarantee or J.P. Morgan Chase. I'm not sure what the, what the title was at the time. And the rumor on Wall Street was that uh, Citicorp had been hacked. I got a call from a recruiter asking me if I'd be interested in speaking to Citi about a position in information security. It's gonna require board approval because the hack did get board attention and the title would be Chief Information Security Officer, which was the first time that uh, title had ever been used. So I was really fortunate in that I helped start the security program at Morgan Guarantee. It was very much part of the financial services sector and being in the right position at the right time with the right background, uh, more than happy to accept. And they really gave me two basic uh, charters. Uh, one was, you know we had the hack, so you have a blank check to set up anything you want. We want to make sure it doesn't happen again. And we want you to build the best information security department anywhere in the globe. The other, which was even a more interesting one, they said they were going to announce the hack a month after I got started, and their international funds transfer system was hacked. So I started in July. I'm sitting in my backyard about 6 o'clock in the morning in August because we take an early train into the city. And my wife called up and said, your reputation is over. I said, what do you mean? She said, they just announced the hack at City Corporate announced, and they mentioned that you were the, chief, the security officer. I got into the office, my phone didn't stop ringing, like, yeah, Kat, you just killed your career. So I spent probably three days answering phone calls and I spent the better part of the next month going out and meeting with the corporate treasurers, uh, heads of finance at City's top uh, 20 international customers to just see what we could do to stop the hemorrhage. I had a crazy background. I programmed assembler language and COBOL years before. What I did, and I'm very proud of it, I did it at Morgan, I did it at City, is this. I am not the technology guy. Even in 95, I couldn't tell you the four divisions of COBOL. So I hired a really, really, really strong uh, security technology guy. And I hired an incredibly strong admin chief of staff who kept the wheels on the bus while I was going around the world, proselytizing and evangelizing the security program. I probably put on 200,000 miles in my first year and probably averaged 100, 150,000 miles a year after that. I wasn't selective with airlines but I probably have four million miles on American. Too many CISOs believe that if there's a breach, they're gonna be thrown under the bus. If there's a problem, they're gonna lose their job. If you are a molecular biologist working for a pharmaceutical company, and you develop what's going to be the next best, greatest drug in the world to cure whatever. From the time you develop the molecule till the time you go through phase three trials, so just start phase three trials, you can put, you, put a billion to a billion and a half dollars at risk. And if the drug fails in phase three, which is like a billion to a billion five, you don't lose your job. So the CISO has to be confident enough to stand up and say, look, I can help reduce risk. I can minimize risk. I cannot make it go away. The industry that exists today wasn't even on anybody's radar screen. It wasn't any part of anybody's wildest dreams or imagination. You didn't have the sophistication that you have today. You didn't have folks to gather credit card information, health information, and resell it. You didn't have a whole underground business of harvesting data and reselling it. All those evolved over time, as did the whole world of information risk, cyber risk, and cybersecurity. The CISO has not defined what his or her job is. And that is probably the biggest risk you're dealing with. The basic philosophy that I've had, and actually goes back to my Morgan Guarantee days, is data security, information security, information risk is a business risk issue, not a technology issue. Technology doesn't have risk, Security doesn't have risk, businesses have risk. Just the way they have financial risk, market risk, reputational risk. This is another risk that has to be understood and managed as effectively as possible. If I were back uh, driving the bus today, I'd bring on a bunch of data scientists and say, let's figure out how we can do this a lot smarter. We need to do a much better job on bringing AI and ML into information security. We're still playing catch up.